Hi and welcome to the Ecom channel and to this video where we are going to make this week's website a multilingual site. I know it sounds like a task that would take days but Wix is actually going to translate most of this site automatically for us. So if you like videos like this please subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up. So when that's out of the way let's jump onto the computer and get started. So we go into Wix dashboard and that is a window right here. We go into the search box and we write multilingual and we choose the first option here which is called Wix multilingual. We click on it and this is an app so it will open in the app market window. The next step is clicking on the blue button that says add to site. It needs a few seconds and we click open. This will take us to the Wix website editor. If this is taking a few minutes to open, that's absolutely normal. And there is the website. This uh, website is selling uh, security products. It's called Remain Safe. Make sure that you check it out after the video. The Wix market will open automatically and we once again have to click add to site. And in this window, we can start adding languages. And we start with the language the site already is in. This site is in English, so we click in the window and choose English. We can also change the flag the language represents. We can, for example, replace the flag of the United States and replace it with the Union Jack. But if you are selling your products in the US, I recommend that you keep the US flag up. So now it's time to add a new language. And below this window, we can choose which language we want to add. And the most logical language to add to a site that operates in French and English speaking Canada and Spanish and English speaking United States is, of course, Swedish. Gotcha. Below this window, we can make Swedish visible on the site and auto translate the site content. We turn the bolt on and we click continue. This will translate all pages you have access to in Wix website editor. That means that everything will be translated beside contact forms, products, and blogs. That you have to translate yourself or use Google. When it's done loading, we can click manage languages and add more languages. We want to add Spanish and we want it visible and auto translated. So now we have English, Swedish, and Spanish. The next language should of course be Dutch. Got you again. I am only joking, but let me take this opportunity to show you how you delete a language. We just click on the three dots here on the side and we click delete language. Now we need to add a button and luckily the app came with a button already. So we go back into the editor and we set the button wherever we want and we publish the site to see how it looks. Here we see the button and we choose Spanish and the site turns Spanish. And we try the same in Swedish, let's see. That looks Swedish to me. But what I don't like is the boring button, so let me show you how to change that. First I want to move it a little bit up. and we click layout. Here we can choose the layout of the button and we click show flags. We can also choose how we want to show the flags up here. And we want to show the full name of each of the language. Let me show you how this looks on the site. And it looks good. I am pleased with the final result. So that's how you make your big website multilingual. But did you know that you can also change the currency on your Wix website? Or you can even show multiple currencies at once? I have made a video for that right here. And with all these changes, I highly recommend that you take a look at Wix site speed. And I have another video for that right up here. That's all for this video. Please consider giving it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again very soon. Bye.